Get excited, South Africa. The smoking hot brand new Orbea Oys has joined the party. Orbea was born in 1840, way back when, in the Basque country of northern Spain. And their bikes are still designed and assembled there to this day. The ethos of the company is about creating high quality bicycles that are tailor made for the people who ride them and are actually category leaders in many respects. The OIS is their fully fledged marathon and cross country racing machine, which you may recall won victory at the 2022 Abs Cape Epic under Speed Company Racing's Lucas Baum and George Egger. The 2023 OIS model is a highly refined racing machine that combines great geometry with a lightweight frame and a 120 millimeter suspension platform that makes for a well-rounded package that pros and amateurs alike can take advantage of in search of speed and mileage. Let's take a quick look at some of the key details and geo numbers of the OIS M11 AXS that we have here. The M in the name indicates that it's a carbon frame. The H named models are alloy frames. The carbon framed model does boast a 1740 gram weight. The rear suspension is handled through a linkage driven single pivot design with flexible seat stays. As for the suspension, you've got Fox Performance suspension with the 34 step cast up front and the DPS inline on the rear, 120 mils of travel front and rear. Your brakes are Shimano XT2 piston with 180 mm rotor up front, 160 at the back. Got a very cool SRAM GX axis drivetrain giving you electronic shifting and no cables. The wheels are OQO alloy 28 mm internal width with DT Swiss 350 hubs at the center. Those are laced with Maxxis Recon Race 2.4 EXO 120 TPR tires. It's great to see the bike's got a dropper seat post. It's the OC mountain control and offers 125 mils of travel on the medium and that goes up to 150 mil on the large and extra large. We've got a Physique Tiger saddle. The bars are also OC, mountain performance model, 760 millimeters wide with a 75 mil stem that offers a negative six degree angle. Other notable points on the bike is the internal routing of the cables through the headset, which looks very clean. You've got room for two water bottles in the main frame, which is crucial out in the African sun, and a small chain guard from Orbea, just to be sure that you don't drop any chains out on the race. As for the geometry numbers, you've got a great 67 degree head tube angle, a nice and steep 76 and a half degree C tube angle, and your reach numbers range from 425 centimeters to 496, small to extra large. The chainstay is consistent across all the sizes, that's 432 centimeters. Your wheelbase ranges from 1,138 centimeters to 1,219 centimeters, small to extra large, and your head tube lengths range from 90 to 115 centimeters. Seat tube lengths go from 405 in the small to 510 centimeters in the extra large. You can find the full geometry and sizing charts on the link in the description of this video on our web article. The core of this bike is that carbon OIS frame. The design ethos employs simplicity to achieve a light weight and ultimately more speed. You've got 120 millimeters of rear wheel travel that's delivered through that single pivot linkage driven suspension. It uses flexible seat stays as well as a refined kinematic to make that 120 millimeters of travel still feel responsive under acceleration. This is a very popular and high performing design that you'll see on quite a few of the top cross country bikes on the World Cup circuit. Orbea are playing no games when it comes to spec choices for you with these bikes. They've got eight base carbon models for you to choose from and three alloy before you even start getting specific on the configurator. The best thing to do to see what is available locally will be to head over to www.cyclelab.com and I must say those alloy models are welded very very well. It's actually quite hard to tell them apart from the carbon. So we've had the bike for a couple of rides now and we're going to share with you a few of our first impressions. Let's take a look. I must note that this is not a full-on review of the Orbea Oys, but rather just a few of our initial impressions from a few quick rides on the bike. 
As for the setup, if you go online to find the user manual for the Obeo Oise, in there you'll see a suspension setup guide giving you recommended pressures for your fork and your shock, and I found them pretty bang on from the get-go. At worst, it's just going to give you a good starting point from which you can make a few tweaks to suit your riding style. So good job to Obeo there. At 178 centimeters tall, the medium fitted me nicely, but I could see myself opting for a size large just to have a bit more room and stability for marathon racing. When you hit the first few corners on the oise, you're gonna notice that the ride is very well balanced. Your weight is nice and evenly distributed between the two wheels without any big body movements required to generate good traction, and you can just get on with hitting the line that you want. This, I would say, is owed to the refined geometry of this bike that isn't too extreme in either the aggressive or the timid direction. You'll also find that that 120 millimeters of travel allows you to sit just a little bit more settled and supple on the wheels than you get with a 100 millimeter option. The always has a great get up and go feeling under acceleration out on the trail. And I noticed this particularly on the more technical single track climbs. That three stage lockout lever put in the trail or open modes gives you a nice supple feeling under the suspension, generating good traction even when things get pretty rough. Put it in the fully locked out mode and you get quite a firm and responsive ride, but it's not harsh, which I particularly did enjoy. So as for the bike's highlights, I'm definitely going to note that 120 millimeter suspension platform is really well managed. So you're always in a sweet spot between having ample traction and a nice responsive ride. Also really good to see you've got two bottle cage mounts, crucial out under the hot African sun. There's also that frame aesthetic, it's very sleek having the cables internally rooted through the headset. And word on the street from the mechanics in the bike shops is that it actually isn't too much of an issue to deal with. Lastly, it's always good to see a bike spec with a dropper seat post. It really just allows you to have more control so you can ride safer and faster, whatever you prefer. So that is the Robea Oise in overview, plus some of our initial thoughts on the ride and its highlight features. If you want to get your hands on one for a test ride or to make it yours, click the link in the description and head over to cyclelab.com. You can book a test ride or, yeah, as we said, make it yours. Subscribe to Wild Air Sports for more sports, adventure and outdoor content. All the best South Africa has to offer and we'll see you on the trails. I'll ride off. Cheers. And then... Cheers. I'm riding off. <laughs> Always model is a... There it is, the front wheel washout.